a milestone in ushering in a new trend of debate and discussion on a very important but sensitive issue like Kashmir imbroglio. People from academia, civil society, are deliberations on the issue so that we are able to achieve a broader perspective of how things might shape in the future. We are highly thankful to various scholars and chairpersons of the sessions in who, in spite of their busy schedules, acceded to our request. In today's seminar, we'll have three sessions, excluding the inaugural session. We have one pre lunch session and two post lunch sessions. Uh, now I very humbly request the senior DK editor, Mr. Zarji Muhammad, to formally welcome the guest and for a brief introductory remark. Thank you so much. Janab Agashra Ali Sahab, fellow panelists and friends, on behalf of Great Kashmir Foundation, which is in abbreviation called GK Foundation, I welcome you to this one-day seminar on Kashmir and we call. Friends, this seminar is being held at a time when on one side we are caught up in depression, in depressing and dismal situation, and on the other side, streaks of hope have started appearing on our skies, otherwise caused with dark clouds. The seminar is being held at a time when entire Kashmir is drowned in grief over awful, dreadful happenings in Shubhaya. The rape and murder occurring in our state for the past many, many decades. Every man thinks he has read everything that he needs to read and he has already come to the conclusion of what is right. So my first humble request is at the age of 87. But he confess that humility is the greatest virtue in human life and discourse. And this because of the greatest writer of the 20th century, not born a Muslim, but by force of circumstances, behaved like a Muslim. We are talking a lot of nonsense about Islam nowadays without any thought. But you should realize he spent 30 years <coughs> producing the history of science and civilization in China. That was the command of the Prophet. If you want to become truly human, Go even to China and it required 1400 years for Joseph Medium to go writing world history. Eastern origins of Western civilization. Lamenting how the West in its innate inferiority complex has been underplaying how China and India and above all I am forced to speak in English. I usually now nowadays speak in Kashmiri. Because Spontaneity, if you want to speak from the heart, you can only speak <coughs> the shortest, most... In philosophical terms, our teleological mindset, a mindset where everything works backwards from a predetermined solution, whatever that may be, needs to be replaced by a building block approach where we put in place the edifice of a political structure and that opens up newer possibilities. Are there any farmers anywhere in Kashmir or for that matter anywhere in the world who cultivate rice with a view to produce pulao? Never. Not that I know of. And I come from a farming background. They cultivate it with a view to produce grain. The focus is on the process, not the product. The focus is on the sequence, not the setup. The focus of his creative energies and creativity is on creating the condition. That should be their focus. Asman said, Jirao Khujur Mayatka. My apprehension is that Kashmir is likely to remain in chains, though in a different form. What is needed in the meanwhile is that 
that understands the point what is happening this time. And it's easy. Being a lawyer by profession, we always love to speak. But I do not know why the GK doesn't want me to speak. In any case, I'll try to wrap up the whole discussion at the end. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, the topic has already been announced. The back channel on Kashmir challenges ahead. Recently, a former Pakistan foreign minister, Mr. Kasuri, revealed that India and Pakistan had reached an agreement on Kashmir. But because of General Musharraf's domestic problems over Justice Iftikhar Chaudhary's dismissal, the agreement could not be signed. Dhruva and Jai Shankar and Khandiya to Khandiya. Their contradictory, contradicting aspirations have fragmented the valley into small holdings, each representing what the other opposes to Thandi. Khandiya to Malarta, Khadumat Kyadi. Vajibara to Islamabad. Economical and other national interests. With the result, at times it becomes rather cynical to remain here. That's why issues get complicated. Despite all this, the merits of third country mediation cannot be categorically. A great test for the peoples of India and the people of Kashmir has come now. Either Kashmir loses India or India retains us is a cycle of history. We have to face this historic destiny today or tomorrow. It is better to look at this issue from the point of view of the people and try to try its resolution. The scope of resistance between hysteria and apology. Otherwise, this topic is being thrashed out every day through speeches, through writings. The newness, if at all, lies is in the novelty, in the creativity through which this mundane, workaday, commonplace subject can be approached. And Shashi Tharoor, one of Indian noted columnists, journalists, novelists, turned politicians, mentions in his book that the emblem of Indian constitution is Satya Vijayate, that truth will triumph. But the question is whose truth? There are as many truths in India as there are Indians. So there are a billion truths. But this truth is our truth, my truth, your truth perhaps. As a collective body can take some of those cases to the courts, some it cannot take. It needs a person who is agreed of and to ask the people what do you want. If we are unanimous on any viewpoint, then we know what we want. Then we are united. Then we are one color. You will be multi color with different opinions. Therefore, they need to ask them what is it that you want. Therefore, the need to ask them to choose. This right of choose, to my mind, is the most important thing, and that is the meaning of the word freedom. And this is what is expected. You want to move forward. Help all those forces, help, this is my request in society, help all those forces we have which are creating situations, which are creating compulsions for resolution of this. Unfortunately, morality does not work in politics. Ethics does not work in politics. Somebody many years back. The Kashmir dispute arose because of denial of the right of self-determination to people of Jammu and Kashmir. This right is evidently applicable to people of the state of Jammu and Kashmir as it is enshrined in the UN Charter. It's part of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It is article number one in the International Covenant on Political and Civil Rights. It's article number one in the International Covenant on Economic, Cultural and Social Rights. Chairperson, gentlemen, gentlemen, Bank, Adam sir, or Ajahn sir, distinguished members of the audience, ladies and gentlemen. Amitabh Bhattu, a my dear brother, had come from Delhi with a grand reconciliatory project for South Asia. And he gave his talk in uh, Broadway Hotel. <laughs> The topic of our today's seminar is Kashmir a day for three years. Three years or four years, whatever it is. After six months. Alexis Tartakov Pate Tekin, be with us, are with our adversary today.
friends uh, i have taken some positive dimensions i look for 